Alright, welcome back everyone to an episode of EU4 Morocco! Oh. So guys, we're about here. We're here. The final days before Morocco finally civilizes and becomes a great, great power. Officially recognized by the world, may I add. Hmm. Um, because of our superior strength and unmatched leadership, we have assumed the... Huh? What? Hmm? What is happening? Oh, uh, oh, apparently we have better prestige and... What? Okay, for some reason we took control of this war. Alright. Look. Just become... Just, trans just give me money. And, yeah. I, I don't know what's happening here, but I don't really care. So just white piece it. Yeah. The Byzantine Empire will survive a little bit longer, but... You know what? <sighs> yeah. You guys don't really like me, do you? Competing with great powers. Fought to the end. Improve relations. Yeah, we probably could improve relationships. Integrate. What? Huh? What? 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 <laughs> what? Oh, oh, what? Uh, so, I have a personal union. Over the Ottomans. I, 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 I'm speechless, people. I'm speechless. Oh, for Pete's sake, I have like no army tradition. Why do you guys keep destroying it? Uh, you know, we might we might as well use our last little bit of that to gain us an industrial slot. Um, but wow, um. Yeah, we now have, uh... Yeah, um... <laughs> I, 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 I really can't say anything, people, but yeah, we have that. We have that. So, um, the next thing I think I'm going to be working on is... Is not economic ideas, because we're actually going to need all, all of our, um... Admin administration tech here soon, so I think I'm going to go for a good navy. Because we really do need to build a good navy, and I think this is going to force me to do it. We need a good navy. But, yeah, um, yeah, we should, uh, also encourage relationships with our new... Oof, I don't even know how this happened. You are under a personal union of me, Ottomans. I don't even know what to say, except you guys really should have had more babies. <laughs> babies, everyone, babies. Okay, so, on the topic of that, I... I think I'm going to... Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to save it here. Just to make sure things don't go awry. Because I'm not sure. Will my prestige also drop if I westernize? Probably. Because I do want to keep this PU. Okay. Anyways, we have started the westernization efforts. Doesn't even matter what I was about to say. So... Um... First, let me kick off this advisor. Um, let me take out this advisor, let me get like a two advisor. Three, we could even afford a three. Could we afford a three? No, we could afford a two, but not a three. There we go. Two advisor, okay. And now we're just gonna, from here on out guys, we're just gonna be cautiously taking steps towards annexation. By the way, you're gonna be annexed. While we're on the subject of annexation, um... Yeah, I'm gonna get this diplomat back. Okay. So, not only do we have a personal union under... Over the Ottomans, which I'm definitely not gonna lose. Like, at all. <laughs> Ottomans, you are now my... You are now my personal little guys. And I'm not gonna lose you. So when can I integrate these guys? 1610. Okay, and if I was to integrate all the Ottoman lands, that would basically make me, like the ruler of the world of Islam, really. That's what I meant to say, Islam. 
Okay, and we can get like a dinky advisor for... Oh, really? We don't have any dinky advisors. So yeah, then no, I'm not going to deal with that because I'm just trying to tech up as fast as I can with my others. Okay. We're going to take baby steps to attack people too. So I don't want to turn this into a... Okay. But we could probably... We could probably split this army up. I mean, we do have enough for... Stuff. Okay. Anyways. We're just going to casually... Just casually tippy toe around this alliance and both the westernizations. I mean, gosh dang, that's that's a stroke of luck right there. I mean, you just you don't see that type of luck in games anymore. I I do believe you do not see that type of luck. You get you you honestly don't see that very often. But we're gonna integrate the Ottomans. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna have to make sure my prestige does not drop like unconditionally uncontested cores. Is somebody not, is somebody being jerked? Okay, we have to make sure we keep this PU, so, um, okay, we have to figure out things to make sure that our prestige does not drop below a certain point. This is also a good diplomatic relation thing, just gonna say that now, but, anywho, um, let's, uh, get above, okay, I'm gonna have to get above. Before I can even attack, before I can do anything, I'm going to have to get above this stability. Okay, the first stability is going to be what? A 340, okay. Whew. I'm really nervous. Government officials. Okay, we gained a trader, but... And we lost 100 Diplo points. That's why I'm me. As long as they don't start attacking my, um... Let's get Cameroon. Oh yeah, I can't anymore. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, I just remembered I I don't have the diplo diplomacy points. I mean, not diplomacy, admin points to do anything. Gain nine admin per turn though. That's pretty good. Which means I probably should not want to be expanding anymore my colonies because I just realized that that could present some bad, uncontested cores, which we kind of don't need. Okay, we're about to go. We're about to get out. About to be out of diplomacy negative points. About in a couple turns. There we go. Um, you know what? Let's see. Yes, there's now a diplomatic reputation. Wow, that's actually a really good one. Okay, so now we're starting to tank out some of that, and now we're just gonna have to wait. I'm gonna try not to get in any wars. Um, try not to expand too quickly. Uh, we could probably build a marsh. I don't know where to build a marsh, actually, because I think I'll just expand everywhere I need to be. Maybe, like, over here somewhere, but, I don't know, it's still, like, not be there. Farming estates. Good produced. I really, you know, I really am not going to tempt fate. I should have at least a thousand. At the very least, a thousand in the bank. The very least, because this westernizing can go really bad really quick. So you need to have that extra income just in case if you need to get out of a bind. Okay. Could we get Defender of Faith? I think that gives us yearly prestige. That would help us out just a little bit, but mm, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to sit here for a second. I'm just there's a lot of things happening right now. We're just trying to. Okay, so obviously the Mama Luke's are going to try to attack us. We're going to be over here defending. We have one of the greatest POs ever. So I'm not exactly scared of the Mama Luke's. It's just I'm scared for the fact I could have rebels just randomly pop up in my land. That's what I'm really mainly scared of. Um, and, and of course we got an uprising in one of these places. People resist westernization. If something like that was going to happen, there's not really much I can really do about it. You know, actually, this was probably a terrible idea. I probably should have waited until... probably should have waited until I had finished integrating the Ottomans and then gone for... Uh, militaristic Diplo cost. Uh, heavy ships and that would probably be good. Diplo cost is a little bit better. But, yeah, we probably should have waited before we did anything. Um, because now that I'm thinking about it, we are now going to be, like, 
basically stuck in a position of um uh what is it called um we're, we're, okay we're basically kind of like frightened little animals and at the slightest provocation if we do not get everything up we're going to be dead okay we have a sane amounts of war score and we can keep building more a little bit more units armories mostly because that's what my people specialize in armories I have troops over here just in case I have troops down there just in case I'm probably gonna have to build like three armies like one down here one over here uh, one down here one over there one over there to protect myself against everyone um maybe I will take up the uh, faith defending a little bit later but right now I'm just trying to survive just trying to survive not trying to die just trying to survive not trying to die people resist westernization as as the, oh my goodness you guys are gonna make me lose my uh, yeah let's get the three three revolt I forgot is it legitimacy I don't think it's legitimacy I'll lose I'm gonna lose my PO if I wanna die oh, dang. it was a good moment that's all I gotta say it was a good moment if I lose my PO you know it was a good time I had with the with the uh with the um, Ottomans we were good buddies for a little bit and we did have legitimacy up our wazoo that's all I gotta say we had legitimacy up our wazoo okay oh yeah okay first revolt first major revolt gonna get my soldiers over there You know, so far, so far, so good. You know, I'm, I'm trying not to tempt fate here, but so far, so good. I'm still, I'm still very panicky right now. If you guys have not, if you guys cannot tell, I'm very panicky right now. Because I know this can go, I've seen, I've seen Let's Plays with this going so badly, so, you know. I'm glad right now we have a good war chest, just in case if things go bad. I have that war chest there, just in case. Okay, we're about to get our first slap up from being people resist westernization, local tax. That's fine, me. We have a good economy right now. Yeah, we have a good economy right now, so. Doesn't matter if people resist it, I still have a good economy enough to keep it out. Morgu has natives uprising. That's not good. And now I have a connecting province right there, that way I can just do that. We got our uncontested cores. We're trying to deal with that right now. It will pass. Um, Legitimacy-wise, we are declining at a rapid rate. Number of royal marriages. Oh uh, shoot. Okay. Um, cancel these. Cancel these. Cancel. Okay. Cause I'm gonna. I I would love to indoctrinate these people, but. It's, I'm really, I'm really trying to keep this war marriage going, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose it. I'm not going to, like, give up on it, but it's looking like I'm not going to be able to keep it, but I'm going to try. We're going to try, people. We're going to try this. This is all very, very high-stakes stuff. Mm. Westernization is stressful enough without having to deal with other stuff. Okay. We're about to be our first break. Okay. Monsieur Azi. Okay, there we go. First break. First break. We got first westernization point. The Holy Roman Empire is still the Byzantine Emperor. And they've insulted Serbia. Or Serbia has insulted me, one of the two. And you still haven't enacted the reform, I would have... Oh, I see, only one person wants a reform, and that's Bohemia. Probably because you haven't really been enforcing your religion. I mean, that's what I would be doing right now, is like, enforce, 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 enforce. If they don't accept, I would go to war with them. So, yeah. That's how I'd be handling these situations, people. How would you be handling them? Um, yeah. Just sitting back. Sitting back, we're like, ah, shoot. Okay, decisions. Grant autonomy, lose militaristic power, or lose to... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I, I will lose... 
And this is exactly why I gained that much money. It was because I knew I would need it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Revolts are basically off the wazoo right now. I'm not even going to deny that we have revolts up the wazoo. Ooh. See, if only I had, like, could get the 10 guy and, like, have this at 10, 10 administrative power each turn, because that would really help me out. Also, you do not die, because your son is terrible, and I will kill your son. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. If, that, if this guy dies, we are going to be royally boned for a couple of years, but we're almost... Mm. Maybe this episode will finish up with all the really, really tough stuff we're getting out of negatives, and maybe we'll start actually gaining stuff. Colonial Rush, yes! That's good. And we've basically blocked up most Europeans, so I'm pretty sure they will not be able to, you know, colonize down here for a little bit, which is good, because I don't want them to, because I don't want Europeans to come down here and start, like, messing with me, because otherwise then I'm going to have to start fighting them, which is really not good. Uh, we have gained a diplomatic insult against Trebzoid. Good job. You guys are really fighting an unarmed patient right now, seriously. Uh, okay, so that's every year. So I have 29 years before I have to get my legis legitimacy back up, and this is about 49. Okay. I'm, I'm just, sorry guys, I was just trying to figure out how many years do I have before my PU is dead. End of Peasant's War. Alright. They finally, oh, finally, Bohemia, you finally enacted that reform. Good job! It took you so long, but you finally did it. Presence resist again. Uh, I, if it's loose stability, yep, you guys get autonomy. <laughs> I, I can't really stop it. I, I can't. I will not lose that stability. Because if I lose that stability, we're gonna lose so much more. It's it's honestly like that. I just can't do it. Okay, but we're about to. I'm just watch. I'm seriously just watching the administration points like nervously. Okay, we finally gained more of this land. Three administrative points. I could spend that. That's not too much. That's not too bad. Crimea keeps assaulting us. That's good. I'm glad everyone likes to get on the get insult the Moroccoans while they are the weakest ever. France is now completely happy with us. Bohemia, I'm hoping, will be happy with us so that they don't, like, try to kill us. Um. Mmm. Man, it's so tense. It's like every moment I'm waiting for one of those events to, like, bring me back down. Should I get the Defender of the Faith, too? This will help my yearly prestige, but it won't really help my legitimacy, which is going down pretty bad. Actually, this is going to be a little bit less than 28, like, 24 years. I can increase my legitimacy, that's the only thing I need. Uh, gonna keep these guys though, because I have a good balance right now. Um, I don't really, really I don't need any of the stuff that the Defenders of Faith is offering. So, yeah, I don't think I'll use it. Let's not get use up any admin points. Let's just build some more uh, highly, highly cool forts of potential let's see did I already get this place in court yes I did okay and keep about 1,000 okay back to waiting Whew. okay nothing's gone wrong so far which is good I don't want to say that actually yep <laughs> exactly when I said it oh shoot okay um yep you guys can do that book burning uh lose the piety <laughs> I, yeah, that's not, I, I really should not be tempting fate here. This is, uh, fate is being nice to me, but I should not tempt it. Okay, just watching, just watching that number go up. And, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm basically incapacitating people. I know this is very boring for you guys to watch. I'm not stupid, I know this is very boring. So, but, I, I mean, there's not really much I can really do because I really am trying not to be, you know, something bad. Uh, the Ottomans are now completely happy with me. Does that mean I have, do I have to get an alliance with them? Or are they already automatically... You guys should be already automatically allied with me. Yeah, I was about to say, you guys are a vassal of me, basically. You guys should be already liking me. Uh, Portugal. Okay, let's go Let's go through our usual rounds of liking people. Portugal, you guys are now going to like us. Okay, we can get more stuff. Let's see, what can we upgrade? 
Eh. Diplomacy, colonial range, naval morale. Uh, actually, I'll save that for our next naval ideas. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go back to zero anyways, or back to three once we get our tech technologically up advanced stuff. So let's just gain our naval ideas. So I make sure I make sure I do know I'm building up a fleet. Okay. I am building up a fleet, people. I may not look like it, but I am. I am building. Okay, we got our next point available. There we go. Whew. And with that, guys. Ooh. With that, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.